Bruce from Safari. We're in front of a Sprinter 2025 medium wheelbase high roof. And this Sprinter is a hamburger. It's got the lot. And let me show you what we've added to Coming it. up underneath the front of it. And what you're looking at there, folks, is our bi-directional motor generator. And you'll see in the video in a minute that we've got eight kilowatts out of this unit. It's right down low. Um, it's highly efficient. So it's 90% efficiency. The inverter at the back is 94. So combined 85. If it was an alternator, a 48 volt alternator, uh, then when it's cold, it's about 63% efficient. When it's hot, it's lucky to be 50. So out of that higher efficiency, you get more power. We're running at idle and uh, let's just have a look at, we're doing at idle here, 45 kilowatts, 5055. And we're chatting here to Bryce. What do you think, Bryce? Have you ever seen anything like that? I think it's pretty amazing. Uh, I mean, to be able to run air conditioning all night and not have to worry about uh, that going down. Uh, well, I guess in terms of losing all your battery bank. And We're now taking the revs up a bit. Got the BMG in the front. So we're running around eight kilowatts. So at eight kilowatts, it'll charge that battery pack in about an hour and 15 minutes. We've got four of our uh, solid state batteries here. They're stacked together there with the straps. So we're looking at here 11 kilowatt hours uh, that we've got here. Um, we've got a 5,000 inverter, and then we've got our Jupiter wall kit here. So for Bryce, it means that this is all finished, set to go. We took the RCBOs out of this side and put them over here. Then we've got two underfloor heaters. These are 48 volt that run on it. Uh, we've got our uh, new uh, interchangeable key keypad that we've got here that is gonna turn on and off. I'm gonna show you that in a minute, a bit more detail. And we've got, of course, the Victron display. So everything here is in Victron. And what we've got on the display is uh, the BMG comes up down here as an alternator. And then we've got the uh, battery on here. And we've got using our wireless um, keypad as well, um, which we're going to demonstrate in a minute. So let's go and have a chat to Bryce. Bryce, how are you today? Very well, thanks. Now you're moving over to WA. Tell us what you're up to. Uh, shifting the business over there, getting a little bit more space. Um, basically starting brand new. So uh, uh, yeah, we've been, been in the business in Sydney for about two years now, uh, doing complete custom builds. Uh, we're looking to, to hone in on uh, yeah, creating a few more of these flagship models. So leaning into uh, the, the Sprinter um, range and uh, yeah, uh, getting busy. I'm gonna take the cover off this now and I'm gonna show you the Starlight and the switching from the Victron. Lifting the kimono on our board here, you can see this is the output of the Starlights here. So these are all switchable outputs. We've put some fuses in here as well. A couple of bigger fuses, the 48 volt hot water and the heat of the solar. Um, and we've got the smart solar in here and here's the Starlight. And I'm just gonna do a little demo here to show you when I hit this button here, you can see the little LED on the end come on here for Starlight because Bryce is gonna wire all this up himself. I put two channels on here, two buttons on there. And then if I hit the third button here, you can just see a little bit of red in there. That's the third channel that we've got running there. But let's have a look at the Victron screen. And the first comment is that this is still in uh, development mode. So you won't get this standard at the moment off uh, Victron just yet. But if we touch the top up here, which is all the switching, and I touch channel one here, turn on, then you'll see both the lights of the LED turn on, and you'll see the little LED on the end up there turning on. And let me just show you the wireless button here I've programmed in. So when I press that button in, turns off, turns off, and it turns off on the Victron keypad. So we've got 12 channels in here. There's uh, four non-dimmable. Uh, eight dimmable channels on this. So, and so you just run your finger up and down like that to do the dimming function. And if you want to see the device here, go to the device list now on it. Then you can see here that we've got our BMG in the front appearing. We've got it in there as an alternator. And then we've got Starlight down here that you can see it's running. And then you can change the names and define whether the channels are dimmable or not dimmable down there. Uh, so you've got one touch display here that does everything. We can have temperature, tanks, uh, we've got the underfloor heating that we can control with the temperature sensors using the turbo relays. We've got the BMG that's running here. We've got Scotty on here running 48 to 12 volt. Everything is on this one display. I've got to say, how good's that? 